You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just you... like he didn't kill Joseph. Who won't? So we got episode two, Starved for Help. Let's see. I imagine during an, a zombie apocalypse, it'd be hard to get food. Um, after a while. Oh. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, mm. I want my parents to come home now. And Baby you, clown. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Didn't Doug die? Mm. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. All right. Oh my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Is that it? The recap. All right. So right, Doug did die because I chose to save Carly. Right, right, right. My bad, my homie Doug. All right, let's do this. In association with Skybound Entertainment. <laughs> Three months later. Oh, we said action commands. I low key forgot what the controls are, but it's not too complicated. Damn. Who's this? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Tragic. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Martha. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. <sighs> We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. They don't play with people's yeah, food. You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Mm. We'll manage. We'll manage. We'll Maybe. make it work. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Mm. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Larry's out of control. Deal anyway. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Is he a racist? Is that why he has a problem with me? Hmm. <laughs> no, he's an old racist. He's just an old racist asshole. I said That's it. His deal. Not oh, Mark will remember that. that. I don't Stop care. Finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. Do we? I know I can we walk and talk, please? And didn't he punch you in the face one time? You're not covered in fish, you son of a bitch! No! Right. He clocks me and then tried to leave me for dead. I don't want nothing to do with Larry. Mm. Mm. I'm worried about the noise, though. Gunshot will bring walkers. 
One bird's not worth it. Right, that ain't even any birds not gonna feed everybody. I'm just really freaking hungry. It's not worth it. Who is that? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Raymond. Who is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Yeah, get, get we're fine. This is full of screaming. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap Who out here? Who raided your camp? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help him. Of course. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Oh. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. All right, Shaggy. we got to get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you got to hurry. Oh, that screaming you hurry, doing. Please, hurry. See, making all that noise. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. R.I.P. to the homie. Gonna chop his leg off? Oh no. All that doggone screaming. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. How Katie, am I supposed to get them out? Those walkers off of me. What am I supposed to do? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Damn, this is bad. Really bad. Lee, do something. Oh. Please. Oh, Don't yell at me. Screaming, please. We're gonna be surrounded any minute. Him, okay, alright. Get me out. Try to cut the chain! Oh god. Oh. To cut you out. No, no, no! I'm gonna try, try to, to cut the chain. Let's go, let's go! My bad. I didn't know that was an option. Can I cut this? It doesn't seem like it. Wait, back. Okay, alright. Try to cut the chain. It has to be now! Okay, alright. Hurry! I'm trying to keep this poor boy. Damn it, Lee, oh. just cut off his fucking leg. I try to. Sorry, we have to go now. Thank you. That didn't work. Sorry, buddy. There's gotta be another way. I don't think Lee, so. I can't keep him back forever. What is this? Oh God, there's so many of them. Didn't think that that's what that was gonna do. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. All right, we gotta we gotta have to hack the leg off. I'm sorry. There's no other choice. I thought there was another option, but again, they really gonna make me. There had to have been another way. He's gonna die anyway. Oh God. Shit. Is he He passed out. What is he gonna do with the one leg though? If he's alive, grab him and let's go. He gonna he gonna bleed out before we could do anything. There had to have been another way, but yeah, we're this is what it is. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! You not sure they're being scary. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. You out here going outside because poor kid lost his friend and his t-shirt in all of uh, two minutes. But why did he fall down? Come on. So I guess there's probably a way to get that thing off his foot without chop his leg off but it's running out of time can't even yell at me kenneth with hooting and hollering now here go this fool
Or maybe Clem. I'm gonna need you to stop stop that. <whistles> Cut it out. Jeez. Starting to get on my nerves. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got Ooh, to stick together to survive. I don't care. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. So you're, got you're maybe on the a week's worth left. Got it. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Shut up. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. What is that? Half apple and a granola bar? Like, what, what is that? What, what am I supposed to do with that? You have four food items for ten hungry people. You got half an apple, some, what is that? Look like the little dips, the cheese dip things, and then the, the cr We're gonna have to split some of this in half. Don't look at me like that. We're gonna have to come up with like a food eating rotation kind of thing. That way, you know, we can like, like you get to eat on days A, B, and C, and then you, the other people get to eat on, like we gotta come up with something cause it's not gonna work. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Mm, I'm not gonna say that though. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. I'm like, is the camera gonna change? How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? <sighs> sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay.
Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Tragic. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. There is no back to sure normal. So. He lost a leg. Okay, who am I going to give this food to? I'm going to give Clementine some to eat because obviously. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I'm going to give her half an apple. I love apples. That's Thank great. you. Are there more? No, no, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. I guess that means I gotta get duck food. And she's also a child. How you doing, duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No! <laughs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Hey, Doc. Give him some food. a little food? I'll give him a piece of jerky. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Anyways, how are you doing, Miss Carly? Who else should I feed? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in a bit. Yeah. I think I'm gonna give old buddy some food. What's their face is dead. To see maybe if that gets him to stop. Will you hold awful. the damn board oh, steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. He's not making what do you want? Case a better. handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. He's not making it easy. Ugh. Don't want to do this. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. I'm not giving it to Larry. Thanks. <laughs> I already hey, gave him food. I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest. You didn't even want Things my help. Different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? <sighs> I mean, I did say it, but I'm not trying to... That's not what I meant. Mm -hmm. No? Then what did you no, mean? No, All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you <laughs> Calm keep down. Fine with me. 
And here I go trying to feed you. And you go over here running your mouth. One, not for myself. No, I'm not. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. I'm gonna they give it to somebody to else. But whatever. I'm gonna give it to Carly. Even though she was trying to be all noble. So, what are we doing? Okay. Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? Not his finger crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm, I'm okay. just trying. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. She go be I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but you don't know me. Now you deny your food over it, girl. Come on. All right, I tried. Let me go check on the man, Kenny G. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. I'm indifferent to both of those options, but... We we'll just here. stay here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Right. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. All right, Kenneth. All right. Who should I give the last piece of food to? Just... Since Carly don't want it, who give it to her? All right, I'm trying. I'm trying Lilith. Mm. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's Why are everybody so hand. hostile? You, you know and your daddy are hostile. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Right. Well, we'll just have to find some. <sighs> here. I don't want anything from you. Fine. Fine. And you and your daddy aggravating. Who am I give these last pack of cheese crackers to? Oh boy. You can ask Katja if she wants some. She'll be working hard on this man's leg. She deserves a snack. Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I need space, Lee. I'm just trying to give you a snack. But you know what? This is what I get for trying to be nice to everybody. And don't don't nobody want it. Where's our boy? Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Now that that's over. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. At this point, I do not care. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. Do not care how anybody feels. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. No, oh, no. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, 
I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. He is. He's about to turn. What about the other kid? No! I wasn't even ready! I was- Oh! Get off of me! Ooh, what do I do? What are you doing? Oh! Oh my god! Two. Sir, get the kick in. Get the kick in. Oop. Why does it keep moving around? Get off of me. Thank you. Oh. Oop. Not him falling. Lee, get up. Oh my god. Quickly, please. That was too much. But I was just saying, he gonna okay? talk about it's not our problem. Yeah. He gonna turn. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna <laughs> get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten. I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? What if you don't have to be Wait, bitten? You all don't know. What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. That's what if I you think. don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Tragic. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen. We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Oh. Whoa, lady, relax! Who are you? Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? <laughs> You've got a deal. Yeah. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. Yeah. We'll see how it goes from there. Goes to the dairy. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I that's that everyone goes to dairy get to the dairy. That's not what I was intending. So this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Now it's not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Do we need Sometimes to talk about I wonder it? if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. 
Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Right, I feel like that's irrelevant. Sure like, who cares? Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? That is a democracy. I don't know. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. You're well, asking too many questions. Know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. <laughs> Mom's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Who's you and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my You're camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it there's off me yourselves. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate them. it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! Alright. The world out here has gone to shit. That's what we're doing, apparently. Come on, let's get to cool. the dairy where it's safe. Just shot that man. And for what? Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Mm -mm. Why is she looking through the window like that? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. <laughs> I'm excellent. Brenda St. John and welcome Not to the St. John, John Dairy. Yeah. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. No they grow hands. them good there. Not they they grow them good there. At the old motel. Yuck. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Y'all worried about the wrong thing. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Who's Amazing. That? Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Okay, Maybe take her exit. Our whole group could come for the day. Well, not them inviting themselves. Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd be her? nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Why Maybe something fell off? Come help me out in the kitchen. Mm mm. Something fell off. 
Oh, Why I don't like I it. head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mm. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? I'm not trying to stay here. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place like, is a safe place. I'm not trying to stay here. We don't know these right. people. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay, anything else? Look at around here. Do -do 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 -do. No, I'm gonna keep looking before I go anywhere. Hmm. Point. That's all you had to say, Lee. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for you the saw. You mean that whole saw right there? You're going to make me click on that too? Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Where did you put that um, piece of wood, sir? In your pocket? Uh, some big old pockets. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Anything else I need to look at over near? Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Mm. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. Mm -hmm. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. I don't really care. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. 
Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. <laughs> Lee, it's dead. Not crispy. Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Yep. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walk? Mark anymore? is getting too excited about this. Uh, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. <laughs> Girl, if you don't let go. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. And and they crispy, so Christ. Just can't dirt. stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. Like you just they know what they were doing, want to teasing talk about us food. With food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help. Holy fuck! What just happened? Oh no. The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what would happen, you son of a What the hell? Get to the gate. Mm, that's not happening. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked! 
Oops. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. You assholes deserve to die. Behind the tractor. Yep. It ain't right. Sir. We had a deal. What's going on? Do I gotta turn the brake off or something? Show yourself! Oop. Did you really think you can fuck with Oop. us? Not me ducking. You got lucky that time! Oh, let me take this thing off. Quickly, he'll see you. Oop! No! Nope. I didn't realize that's how that worked. My bad. Get out of the open. Oh, I'm trying to pull the thing down. You oh. Now we'll take even we more. I don't think that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I ain't got one of you. Or maybe it is. You I didn't know. deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's owed. Still not moving. Nope, that didn't fix it. You assholes. All right. Something's still blocking. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're all ah, shit! Oh, fuck you, Tom! I got one of you! Not me getting shot. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the fuck? What just happened? <laughs> Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the hell? Get to the gate! Not me dying. Okay, let's try that again. Oop. We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Don't think I can't see ya! You asshole! Oh. Come on, if we can reach the gate, what we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, the they're on the shit, move. that hurts. Show yourself! Get closer! Did you really think you can fuck with us? I can do this all day. <laughs> what happened? Oh, shit. You. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Oh my god, watch why are they making this so difficult? Now we're gonna take what's owed! Give us the food! Fuck you, Solomon! Where do you think you're going? How come they have so many arrows? Not a, another one? Not another one. Not another one. Not another one. Okay. Give us the food! What about our arrangement? Now there you are, boys! Don't start this. Do not start this. You got lucky that time! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I ain't got one of you. Come on. The gate's right there. Right where? Not the same with crawling behind me. Oh my goodness. Lee. Lee. Get Did you really think you fuck with us? What was I supposed to do? Come on out! Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Why do I keep dying? This is unacceptable. Now there you are, boy! I am confusion, because what was I supposed to do? You got lucky that time! Why can't we throw him onto the fence? Like, be yeah, smart. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. We I'm, have an agreement. Where am I supposed to go? 
Where, where am I supposed to go? I don't understand. Why, where am I supposed to go? Because I tried to turn left and it wouldn't. Another one? How many of those things did Can't we push down? What about our arrangement? Now there you are, boys! <laughs> Give us the food! <laughs> you got lucky that time! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <sighs> Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. The gate's where? Where's the gate? 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 So what was different this time? Let's get out of here. Like, um what was different? What was different? We ain't going nowhere. Y'all don't even shut the gate behind you. I don't know what the deal with that was, but all right. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, 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 the electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are are you okay? No, can we get I heard this? Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Can we get man, this I man? Really sorry. Oh my lord. What happened to you, Can sweetheart? we get the Those arrow out of this man? Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. We also hey, need to reinforce Mark. the hands. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, I don't trust her. What kind of shit is this? We ran into here some he go. on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Here he go. So much for your deal. Oh, Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're going to let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out Let's that bandit out. camp, come find us. Pandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have not to. Take Whoa, pull cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hmm. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Why will these comments be unnecessary?
I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Do I have to use a gate? Is there anything else to look at? Alright. <laughs> Is that it? Lots of hay. Ooh. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for Merrill's, if that becomes a problem. It's in the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Is that it? Why am I out here? I do not want to talk to either of them. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are That's in the right That's not place. what I meant, but okay. It would be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Do I have to talk to her? Her daddy? I don't want to. No. Cool, I'm out. I am out. What's this? Not a cornfield. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Not, Having a crop like that on hand must be voice. great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we're gonna stay here. Alright, let's go. Alright, alright, let's go. The gate at. <sighs> Where the gate at? Where the gate at? All right, come on. What is? Oh, I guess I could have gone checked on Kenneth and the children, but that is what it is. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry. You almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah, it would have been helpful. Oh, you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Why are you looking like that? Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Um, let's yeah. go. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Nope. Oh. could have said something. My bad, baby Clem. 
see anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Stay on your guard. I can't see anybody, but I don't mean get back, I don't mean get comfortable. Check out the tent. What's going on? Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Just water. Nothing. Empty. What are we doing here? Feels like a trap. Because why is there nothing here? Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Mm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. <laughs> Where? They gonna make me click on every single box. Is that what we're doing? What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers mm. cross the line. Seems a little sus. What do you find? A camera. A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? What do you mean, oh, good? What's on that camera? And get a move on. What's on that camera? I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Here you go. Let me get out of here. Is there anything else to examine? Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Can we get out of here? <laughs> Ain't nothing to see. Yuck. I don't need that. Can we skedaddle? What what else am I supposed to look at? I've looked at everything. What's that? 
bottles. We already looked at the bottles. We already looked at the tent. Broski, let's go. What have I not looked at? Can we leave now? Can we? Can we leave now? I already looked at all this stuff. Look at the chair. Please don't tell me. Looks like they expected to be here. Please while. don't tell me. I need to look at the chair. What else is left? I've looked at everything. What are we? What are we doing? One chair. I've looked at all these things. Wood. What? What else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know what else I'm supposed to be looking at. Can I go this way? No? Okay. Why did it change camera angles if I can't go that way? Hmm? Bro, come on. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Is that the last thing? Oh, come on! I've looked at all this stuff. What? Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Like, bro. Brosif. Broscarini. We've already looked at everything. What else? What else do you want from me? That's a uh, baby girl hat. Oh my Shit. god. Put your guns You're supposed down. to be watching my back. Going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Jolene ain't going back hey, where? we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. What's wrong with her hair? I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. The men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. Not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. You made the girl dead. She'll come back. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You know what? Oop. I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Oh. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Ma'am. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Okay. I'm gonna need you. I need to calm down. No, sir. I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. For oh. Well, all right, he did it. <laughs> Let's get out of here before the uh, god damn it. 
Thanks. Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. Yep. Come on. Like none of those options are good, but okay. Let's get out of here. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. We don't have time Still, for this. Let's go. What a waste. So that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Where did she get baby girl hat from? That's what I want to know. He said, don't mind if I do. Come on. Come on. Take it too long. Let's roll. Jolene. I could not sing a song. But alright, girl. I guess. Well, let me go tell baby girl I got her hat back. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. I'm like, is that thunder in the game or out here? Assuming the game. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? Who's Terry? My husband. Mm. Miss him every day. No. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Okay, well, here calm they down, go. princess. I'll do it myself. Here they go. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all did a little testing. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. I don't trust y'all. Don't wander y too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. What about old buddy? Mark. How he doing? The thunder is in the game, right? Like, I'm not bugging. Well, I got your hat back, Clementine. We might need to disinfect it first. Don't need you getting no lice. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Oh, baby Clem. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Thank you. Did you lick it? I don't know. No, I don't know. What Clem? Did you lick the salt lick, baby girl? What? Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You no. said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, 
Thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clint. Sweet baby. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Sweet baby. Do I have to have a duck? Let me talk to him. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Mm. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. What is she cooking, exactly? Thanks. Oh. Don't yep. care. I guess I'll talk to Kaja. Is that not an option? Okay. Look at the cow. She looks skinny. <laughs> no, she looks skinny. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? <laughs> hey, don't use swear words, okay? Don't okay. use swear words, please. I'm sorry. What are we doing here? How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Oh. Sweet baby. Can I leave? Are we done here? Can I leave? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Mm -hmm. Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. It's not the energy we have here. We just came here to have a good time. Don't come in here ruining things. It's in the toolbox. Don't be weird or rude. Who is this? Multi-tool. That should be handy. Why do I feel like I should take it? You're just gonna borrow this for a second. Yeah, they don't need to. They won't know it's missing. I feel like it wouldn't have given me the option to take it if I wouldn't need it in the future, you know? I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Alright. The thunder is really rumbling, like, sheesh. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. Why are you gonna be weird? You're getting along with Larry. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but can we see him? We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys... They can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. I guess. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Oh, okay. 
can't wait to listen to the symphony of zombies being fried. Yum. Uh, but yeah, I don't know who that was up in the chat coming in being yucky. Like, why would you come in telling details of the plot? Why? What's wrong with people? Hello. Did not pass a vibe Glad check. I got to use her today. <laughs> My girl here. Um, you really like that gun. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Let's not be weird. It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as famous not as him naming her. In your pocket. <laughs> okay. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are lucky you're on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. <laughs> It'll be a good one. Why are you saying like that? All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Look at gas cans. Gasoline all over the property. Is that it? Is that it? What else do I need to look at? I looked at the fence and all the good stuff. Looked at the generator, yada yada yada. I looked at the swing. What am I supposed to be doing? Do I gotta go talk to what's her face and her daddy again? I really don't want to. Really don't want to. I'm totally okay. So Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? Get your daddy before I get him. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check this out. There's definitely something weird going nosy. on here. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong Nobody and getting us thrown out in our asses. Nobody asks you. Nobody. Nobody asked you, sir, and yet you continue to talk. You, you continue to talk, and nobody asked. All right. 
I've walked around. I've done. I feel like I've done all the stuff I need to do. Why can't we? Why can't the story progress? Am I going back in the barn? Like, what are we doing? Let me see in here. I still can't believe Clementine talked about don't lick the salt lick. And he asked, well, did you lick it? She said, I don't know. <laughs> so you definitely licked the salt lick. Good job, baby Clem. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Get away okay. from me, Doug. <laughs> like... Huh. Duck is a little annoying to me. Like, baby. Empty. All these empty boxes. What's this? A locked door? Hmm. You found it too, huh? <laughs> Where did you come Lee, from? They're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job Lee. to be paranoid, Lee. Too I got Lee. my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What kind of noise? What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Right. Your head, Slow Kenny. down, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. No, you know how to pick a lock, right? That? Well, you're, you know, <laughs> you're urban. Urban. Oh, you are not saying what I said. Come on, Kenny. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. I, why not know he's about to say that? Comes out of my mouth sometimes. No, I'm from Florida. Like that hmm. excuses it. What? All right, Kenny. See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly. Have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. You're gonna unscrew the whole right. thing? Sounds like you got a plan. Super casually. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Here he go. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about mm -hmm. your friend. Sure, the bandits. Hey, uh, do you mean sorry about your friend? Don't fuck around. Where is door, he? Okay. Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, mm. I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. Um. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. I can't give it to him. I guess not. So I'm supposed to go all the way out here. Maybe if I, uh, what's it called? Tinker with the generator? Oops, excuse me, that's what I do. We'll go tinker with the, the generator. And then he'll have to come out and fix it. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. I just hit the power. That's not enough. 
Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Guess I got a screwdriver in the... Where am I supposed to get a screwdriver? Where am I supposed to get a screwdriver? in there. Mark probably did because why can't we check on him? Said I need a screwdriver driver to get in there, but I can't go in the toolbox. So where am I supposed to get a screwdriver from? Yep. That's what I thought. Like, duh. There you go. Now I'm just popping it open. Do I just stop Looks it? Like that bell's driving me out. What you would call it? I don't think what you call it. If I touch it with my hand. That's probably a mistake. So this. Ow! Damn it! Never mind. Thing is moving fast. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. Who's the thing? Get the thing off. There. That should do it. Don't be obvious. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Oh, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Now what am I supposed to do? Should I talk to him? Or should I just let him be? I'm gonna I'm let him be. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Oh, so I'm the one that's going in there. Got it. Never mind. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Don't leave me by myself. Mm, I don't like that. Boy, didn't you hear oh, the bell? Jesus. Kenny, you're supposed to have my back. Dinner time. Kenny. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idea, brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. I wasn't expecting him to believe a lie. 
That's fine. I got some questions because I didn't want to make it weird, but you wow, beast. that didn't look too good. Oh Excuse boy. me, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and ain't been back inside since. Everybody, sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Right. Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Why would it let me look at them? You know what? I don't care about none of this. I'm trying to look at these things. The yeah. dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. Daddy's baseball trophy. Hmm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. Say, the uni University of Arkansas, I guess, girl. Some kind of lotion. I could use a shave. Gauze pads. I wash my hands, Louis. What's that noise? Said he was up here resting. Mm, sounded real suspicious. What's in the closet? Nothing. Okay. So then, where market? that noise. Feels like there's a storm coming. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Where? What was that noise? Where did it come from? Not here. Where? Where did the noise come from, though? Where did the noise come from? I'm confusion. I am. What do they need so much morphine for? 
cannabis. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. <laughs> Musty. Huh, where is that cord going? Is that what I had to look at before I could go in that other room? Like, no, I still can't go in there. What do you, what am I missing? And who's talking about help me, Mark? Is Mark okay? Help me. What, what am I missing? It's not in this closet. Go back in this room, I guess. The bookshelf, look at the bed, look at the stains. Like, I'm confused. What? Why? Oh, is there. Is there another door over here? Like, what? It won't let me go through this door. There's no. There's there's nothing. It won't let me. Help me. It's backing up. I don't understand. Help who? Where? I looked everything in the in here. Huh, where is that cord going? Ugh, what is this stuff? I've looked at everything like in here. A bunch of medical waste in here. So saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of <sighs> stuff? What am I not seeing that I'm supposed to see? I can't get in this room. Maybe I'll just keep going downstairs. Help me. Is it gonna keep doing that every time I go to try to go downstairs? Help me. Help who? Where? You keep saying help me, but where are you? I'm there's nothing in this closet. Handles morphine, medical supplies, towel, power cord, trash can. Looked at all those things. The backup. So gonna try the room there's blood there's the bookshelf there's the window and there's the bed where the hell is mark we already I looked at it was up here resting i'm just i'm what am i missing here What? Is my game broken? Like, what are we? What are we not seeing? I clicked on all the things, and nothing. And I can't go downstairs. Help me! Help who? Where? Like nothing's happening. Not nothing. Nothing is popping up to click on I don't know <laughs> I don't know nothing morphine Box, candles, cowl, medical supplies, trash can, paracord. Is this a grab it? Annoying. 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 What the hell? Now what? Oh, behind the bookshelf? Okay. 
sure making a whole lot of noise there, buddy. Not him being laid out. Lee. Not his legs what? being gone. What the hell happened? Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Clementine. Oh god. Oh, oh, Clem, no, no. Run. Run go. Clem, no! Clementine! No! Huh? huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Yes. Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Oh, my God. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. We need to get the kids, everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. He's still just over there eating yuck. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! Oh my god. We got lots of use for y'all right here. <sighs> what the fuck? The fucking black- Put your <clears throat> guns down! We're just, walking we out of here! Just just I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! <gasps> Lee? Lee? Put her down. I'll kill you. Ooh. Not him falling down the stairs. Please. Uh, someone. Ah. Least they get knocked Open out. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of Stop here! all that yelling. <laughs> yep. Yo, I'm not sure they're throwing in the corner here. Open this door! Goddammit! Uh, oh God. I will knock the Please. goddamn Dad, door down! Stop. <laughs> It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. You know, you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They- they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm-mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! It's too much going on. This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm you are all okay. happy to be, be here, okay. Larry. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Trusting them and everything. Now it's my fault. Yeah. Now, yeah. now it's my yeah. fault. Please settle down. Hmm. I'll rip their goddamn heads up. I'll, I'll break that damn. You have a heart attack. Yeah. If you don't calm down. Uh, what I say? Uh, what I say? Uh, 
Now this man going into cardiac arrest. No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. Oh, Lord. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. But you saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back. Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny. He is not dead. We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Oh, God. I don't feel come like on, we're... Dad. Come on. I don't want to help resuscitate him. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Kenneth. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of us One, at risk, you son of two, a bitch! Three, You're fucking worthless, Lee. Four. You don't even give us a chance. No! <laughs> Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Kenny, you just... didn't even... It had to be done. You didn't even give us. Know that. You yes, didn't I even do, give us a chance. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. Now can we go be in his feelings? I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me. Oh, poor Clem, baby. Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. We still need to find a way out of here. Poor baby. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Anything. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. There you go. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on that working part. On <laughs> Kenneth. Let me talk to Lily, Lily first. I'm sorry, but Kenny just went rogue. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Oh, shit. He cares about keeping his family safe. Can you he doesn't give a blood shit about you and me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. Kenneth. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we now want you to hear survive this shit, we've got to have the like. balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Oh, whatever. gonna survive this shit we got to work together how do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do if she wants to live she'll work with us if she doesn't then the hell with her Kenny come on all right do I have to well R.I.P. Larry I'm sorry Lily jeez Ooh, need to see it for you okay um let's do this there ought to be an air duct behind this unit Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Right, you thought Maybe you still had something it? else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. <laughs> Lily, does your daddy have a coin? Screws. The 
DC should come down easily. Please, I need to be alone. Right, I need to ask you God a question. You deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn. Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Listen. Do what you have to like, do. Just, just, just let me. <laughs> let me dig in his pockets real quick, and I'll be out of oh your way. Boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Let's try the right side. It's probably. Here we go. Okay. Two quarters. There we go. And a dime. Why well, he got coins in his pocket? Money doesn't matter anymore, babes. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. All right, let's get to it. Not a George, not Georgia on the corner. Y'all not slick. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. I didn't see you trying to find something to get us out of here, Kenneth. All you did was smack somebody upside the head. Our way out, Lee. We don't know where it leads. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I, I can find out. Go ahead, baby Clem, stepping up to the plate. She said, I'm about that action. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. Precisely. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm Clementine and I'm about that action. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can see get to the if you can open the door. door. Open it. Oh, baby Clem, you got it. start get yourself killed if you want to Lily I'm sorry we gotta go I know scary I just need a minute to say goodbye hey mm -hmm. we're good okay at least you okay. didn't see him turn this is good. shit he's gonna get us all killed stay here take care of Lily okay I will Kenny just out here doing what he want to do. No disregard for anybody else. I'm like, bro. Trying to get us killed. Yuck. That doesn't even look sanitary. Like, y'all just out here cutting people to bits and not even doing it well. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Um, don't mind if I do. You stay ready. You ain't gotta get ready. Hey, I didn't want to trade it out. I like the sickle more. 
I'm saying if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. And so, got my little sickle. We're going to tiptoe. Do you want a weapon, sir? Or are you just going to... Not a mini cattle prod. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards. All of them. Kenny, you gonna take yourself a weapon or are we just gonna ride out? Oh god, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sickly in time through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Well, it's too late for that, babes. Alright, let's go. Can we not? What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. You got a room full of stuff and you just wanna... That's what I mean. Kenny being goofy. I gotta do everything around here. What are you doing outside the bar? Oh shit! Hide. In the place, like you said. Well, sitting out in the rain up again here. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Get one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep alive. Not the kid. None of us need on the trail. Ah! Oh, I know, Mabel. This is my turn to talk too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Lee, focus. Where's Danny? He's inside. He's not coming any closer. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's got to walk past us to get to the knee locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. Oh no! Wait! Oh no! My key, my thing was moving. Pain, pain. Go, go. Oh. Thank you. Not him pulling it out. Oh no, Kenny. Can you do something? Thank you, Lily. About that action. Kitty over there are scary. You supposed to have my back. You talk about one of us gonna make the tough decisions. Like, come on, man. You not about that action. What are we what are we standing around for? Understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Jeez. Like he didn't kill Joseph. Who won't? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Clementine. Um, uh, he had to go. No. God, no! Gotcha. Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Sorry, Clem, but it had to be done. Oh, we can. It had to be. It had to be done. What happened with what? Kitty! Mm-hmm. 
Oh, not zombies. It's too much going on at once now. Okay. We've been through, um... We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. As Carly and said, leave, if you stay can. ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Duh. Oh, this is too much. No, 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 no. Yeah, shut up. Can I move? Okay, I'm like, dang. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. What? Where am I going? Down. I don't want to hurt y'all. No. Oh. What happened with what? Andy? Danny? Is that you? What's going on out there? Where are Katja and the kid? Oh, I wasn't supposed to say anything. <laughs> My bad. Didn't realize I was supposed to be. Don't come in. Your Oh, I'm like, can I open the door? This thunder is going to up. Not her with a gun. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. I don't have a weapon. This thunder is doing the most. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Oh, wait. That's Mark up there. If I get her to back up. Stay back. Keep backing Don't up. You innocent, stupid. Keep, keep backing up, sister. What, what happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart, huh? How did it come to this? Just stop! I just need her to back into... Oh, buddy right there. I don't want to kill you, Lee! This, this dairy was your pride. Look what you've done to it. That's right. Keep backing up. You're right there. There we go. Easy. I said, don't move, asshole. Don't you fucking hurt him. Oh my god. Oh good. Too much going on at once. Not the kid. That ain't gonna happen. Andy, don't shut up. Not gonna get it shot. Andy, who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. You probably saw yourself. yourself. No, uh-uh, you did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Period. Oh. Yep. I almost pressed the wrong button. Are you about to fight? We fighting? He ready to fight. He fighting. We fighting. Come on, get up. Lee, oh Jesus, get up. Get up. Get the fuck up. Up. Oh. Up, oh, sir. Please. Let me up. Let me up. I'm mashing! 
Jesus. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Please. I'm like, I'm mashing. I'm going to have to catch me another one. What are we doing? One of these, and one of those, and one of these, and one of those. Sorry. Oh, yeah, we can get some more. We're not done. It's not over for you. I'm not stopping. Mm -mm. Nope. Want some more? Are we gonna let him live? I guess, girl. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. Oh, bet. It's over. Let me kill him. Give me the option. Fuck you. Give me the choice. As soon as Dana Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> Can I come in? They're not coming. What do you mean? They did. Lee? What the fuck do you mean? They're dead, babes. They're dead. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! I thought you about to say, boy. I'm like, mm, don't you. Don't take it there. Get back here and finish this, Lee! Oh, oh wait! I was gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. I don't want to, but I'm gonna walk away. Now if he come up on back here and fight me like a man, Lee. See, now he wants it. Oh, <laughs> I should've. But no, I'm gonna let you stay there. He gonna die anyways with all these zombies. Let's go. Move go. You got it, babes. Please. Yeah, not the mama already coming down from the house. <laughs> Hate to see it for ya. Oh well. Oh well. Don't feel bad for you. Is Kenny okay? He took a bullet. She suddenly wiped her daddy blood off her face. I guess, girl. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Right. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy. We might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? Yes. For food? Yes. Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? No, mm, she does. She's not stupid, Carly. Right. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Right. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Are you used to getting shot, Kenny? What's, what's Hon, that? go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. I need to have some words with you, Kenneth. There's gonna be fallout. For <laughs> killing Lily's dad? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would imagine so. What do you think? Um, you murdered. You murdered Larry. Why? Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them by making sure Larry didn't kill us. You done, Kenny? I couldn't do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Girl, I guess. 
Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes. Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were going to kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. No, oh, poor baby. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? We need to keep moving. I don't know why we're like sitting here having God, a kiki. Key key. Not more strangers. We need to keep it moving. A car for what? what? What are we doing? Hello? Well, anybody here? No. Nope. Figures. Out of gas? Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. Right. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. Why would they just leave the car on what in the it's lights? Not? Like, I feel like what leaving the... What if it's the... not abandoned? What if it is someone? The key! Ugh. <sighs> I don't... I feel like if we take it, someone's going to be You're after right. us. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. I just feel like... The rest like of us are taking this stuff. If we take the stuff, these people might be after us. Because whose stuff is this? You can have it. Okay. I'm just well, gonna, I'm not here. trying to be on anybody else's bad Look, side. There's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? No. Yeah. You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. What's on the camera? Oh, shit. What's on the camera? Not them recording us. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people 
<laughs> Don't worry, little girl. And it's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Girl. You out here lost your mind. And that is the end. Next time on The Walking Dead. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Oh my god, Kitty. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases at all. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her you dad. You murdered her dad, right. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! <laughs> Mm, yikes. All right. I'm getting spicy. So there was a way to get him out of there without chopping his leg off. Didn't help kill Larry. I didn't kill both brothers. Okay. Well, that was episode two of season one of The Walking Dead. Star for help. They out here eating people. Mm-mm. That just sounds nasty, like, uh, yuck.